Hello everybody, this is Twin Flame. How's your life treating you? I hope you're on a good journey for your spiritual evolution. By now, you may feel comfortable about the fact that there are so many people whose spirit souls have come from the alien planet. Today, I'm going to tell you about their cosmic identities, which are all different from each other. You would be shocked about the fact that some spirit souls actually have the cosmic identities that have been described in the SF movies or sci-fi comics. Let's figure out who they are. Captain Rika's message I'm going to present to you is the cosmic ranks of the spirit souls from the alien planets. About 17% of the human population on Earth it's the spirit souls who have come from the alien planets. Since they are living on Earth dressed in Homo sapiens or the human body as the code of the spirit soul, they are not easily distinguishable from the authentic Earthmen by appearance. But those who can feel the energy of the spirit soul may be able to recognize those alien spirit souls. This group of spirit souls will take off their human coat and return to the spiritual hierarchies they belong to during the cataclysmic pole shift of Earth or during the process of the Earth dimensional ascension. These spirit souls can be divided into five groups and their main features are as follows. The first group the chief executive administrators of the spiritual hierarchies of planets are included in this group. They ruined their home planets during the management of their planets and have come to the planet Earth, dissolving their planetary karmas. Their planets were in situations as follows. Some planets were destroyed due to the imbalance between spiritual and material civilizations. Other planets were ruined because of the incompetence of the chief executive administrators of the spiritual hierarchies of the planets. Some cases of planets were destroyed as a result of excessive genetic manipulation experiments on their living creatures, including their planetary inhabitants or due to the misappropriation of planetary science and technology. The administrators of the spiritual hierarchies of some planets had their planetary evolutions suspended because the planets deviated from their own proper path of planetary evolution. The administrators of the spiritual hierarchies of some other planets had their spiritual hierarchies closed down after their planets were ruined. They have carried their own cosmic karmas to Earth and have been living on Earth so far, dissolving their cosmic karmas. The administrators of the spiritual hierarchies of some planets have come to Earth to prepare themselves for rebuilding their ruined planets or for initiating new cycles of the evolution of their home planets. The second group, the leaders of the groups of spirit souls who made karmas by violating the laws of the grand universe have come to earth and have been dissolving their karmas. For example, the spirit souls of the cosmic pirates engaged in the plundering and robbery in the universe have been arrested and exiled to earth. The administrators of the spiritual hierarchies of some planets who built their karmas by evading or colonizing other planets have been exiled to the planet Earth in order to dissolve their karmas. In the cases of some planets evaded and colonized by other planets, the chief executive administrators or the leaders of the next generation administrator groups of their spiritual hierarchies have come to Earth in order to receive leadership trainings for rebuilding their home planets. 
There are some groups of spirit souls who built their karmas by contaminating other planets with harmful radioactive materials or spreading biological weapons or lethal substances to other planets. The leaders of those groups have been exiled to the planet Earth to dissolve their karmas. The third group, there are some planets scheduled to adopt Homo sapiens or the human being as the code of their planetary spirit souls in line with their evolutionary cycles. The administrators or the chief executive administrators of the spiritual hierarchies of those planets needed to experience the human code of the spirit soul beforehand by living directly in the human body on the planet Earth. One example is the group of spirit souls who have been prepared for undertaking the Adam and Eve project on their newly reset planets. The chief executive administrators of the spiritual hierarchies of some planets needed to design new programs for the planetary evolution of their newly reset planets in order to initiate new evolutionary cycles of their home planets. This group of spirit souls has been experiencing the life on Earth dressed in the human coat of the spirit soul. The fourth group, there are some groups of general spirit souls belonging to the spiritual hierarchies of the ruined planets but they are not the administrators of their spiritual hierarchies. They have been participating in the project for the Earth dimensional ascension in order to have the rebuilding of their home planet. Own group is the general spirit souls who do not belong to the administrator group and who have entered the planet Earth on a massive scale. They have been dissolving their own planetary karmas and overcoming their own planetary contradictions so far. A second group is the general spirit souls who have been sent out to Earth from their home planets to be prepared for helping the administrators of their spiritual hierarchies with the rebuilding their planets. They will take off the human body and return to their spiritual hierarchies during the Earth dimensional ascension. The third group is the generous spirit souls who have come from the ruined planet carrying the rows of star seeds. As such, they will continue to live on the planet Earth after the Earth dimensional ascension. The fifth group, when a planet is ruined and its spiritual hierarchy is closed down, its generous spirit souls cannot continue to evolve any longer. Among them, some generous spirit souls who have relatively small karmas, such as young generous spirit souls, can immigrate or be transplanted into the spiritual hierarchies of other planets whose energy patterns are similar to these spirit souls. A group of the general spirit souls who has been transplanted into the Earth spiritual hierarchy has been able to evolve on Earth through gaining mature experiences in accordance with the evolutionary roadmap of the planet Earth. Like transfer students, some spirit souls have been staying on the Earth spiritual hierarchy for a relatively short time period to gain the mature experience on Earth. After completing their purposes, they will eventually return to their home planet. During the process of the Earth dimensional ascension, all the spirit souls in this fifth group will take off their human bodies and leave the Earth spiritual hierarchy. Most of them are scheduled to be transplanted or to immigrate on a large scale into the spiritual hierarchy of the planet Venus. These spirit souls who will be transferred to the Venus spiritual hierarchy will experience the material world on Venus following the evolutionary cycles of Venus. The planet Earth is on the verge of the termination of its material civilization and is about to be newly reset, which is so-called the great opening for the new heaven. 
right before the new earth and the new heaven comes true on the planet earth, there are some people who must be ready. The light workers whose consciousness is being awakened, the heavenly people whose consciousness must be awakened, and finally, some human beings who will survive in the protective energy field areas or safe zones and open a new spiritual civilization after the Earth cataclysm or the cataclysmic shift in Earth axis. For these people, I, Captain Ureka, am leaving this message as a record. October 26th in 2018, Ureka wrote his message was translated by Twin Flame. Thank you so much for listening.